Today is, is a little bit um, a special conversation that I want to have with you. I want to have it with you and with whoever can listen to this uh, conversation because I think it's important that people understand uh, what's going on in the market and how your, your actions in, in real estate, as real estate brokers, your actions can actually affect the entire market, okay? Not not just the real estate market, but the actual economy. So I want to get, uh, normally I would have talked about really goal settings and motiva motivation, which I will, but I want to share with you something very, very important. It's the, 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 the fact that we're not taking any listings, okay? And that's, that's, that's something that's very important that I share with everybody. Sellers must put their property on the market. They must do it. See, um, I went back and, and restudied a little bit some, uh, some recessions in the past, and none of us, none of us here have seen a recession based on supply, okay? Because we're all born in the 1960s, 70s, 80s, okay? So, so we never had, we never had, to go through uh, a recession based on supply. So let me explain what I mean by that. Recessions happen because of either a lack of supply or a lack of demand. So for example, if we wanna buy laptops and there's not enough laptops in the market, nobody is buying laptops, therefore they're not investing or, 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 or um, uh, buying things which means there's less, let's say, for example, um, Best Buy would not sell, which means they're not receiving any cash, which means they may lay off people and the economy goes into a recession. That's what we've known about recessions for the past 50, 60 years, because we never had a problem of supply. After World War II, everything was available and it was available all the time. So we never really had any recessions based on supply. We could build computers more than what we need. We could have cars more than we need. We could have food more than we need. So we never really had any problems on the supply side. Most of the recessions after World War II were based on demand. And that's where we have a problem understanding that we, we as real estate agents, if we don't do our job properly, we could create a partial recession in the economy. So, let me explain it to the other, the other way around. See, if there's a lot of supply, let's say there's a lot of cars, there's a lot of computers, there's a lot of everything, food, drinks, uh, tables, okay, anything, uh, fridges, it's all available. And there's not enough demand. Okay, there's not enough demand for that supply. What happens? Normally, you're going to have less people being able to buy, and we're going to have overflow of stock and that stock is going to diminish in price, right? That's what happens. That's what has been typically happening since World War II. Now, we're, we, we created, with COVID-19, we can create our own recession because of supply this time. And that's where problems occur. So, again, we have the supply and demand pre-COVID-19. After COVID-19, a lot of people don't put their property on the market. You guys are not contacting them enough to explain to them that they need to sell. If they need to sell, let's put it on the market because there's buyers. So the buyers are here. The buyers haven't changed. They still need to buy. But our problem is now we're having less supply, which means that buyers right here, there's buyers that won't be able to buy, which means, again, less money in the economy. And if it's less money in the economy, then there's a recession. And that being said, so let me explain to you where the problem can be. So in Quebec or, or anywhere in North America, there's a lot of people that get involved in a transaction. First of all, there's a seller. So their seller needs to sell the property. That's the inventory. Then you have the buyer. So if there's a transaction, the seller receives money, the buyer pays money, the bank gives a loan, right? A mortgage broker works and gets paid. Before that, there's an inspection. So there's an inspector that gets paid. During the transaction, the notary gets paid. 
There's also a, um, a uh, land surveyor that's going to work and get paid. Okay. There's maybe a title insurance company that will be paid and so on and so on. And brokers, obviously, as brokers, we're going to get paid. Uh, the agency is going to get paid. OSIC is going to get paid. IPCIQ is going to pay, get paid. So everybody gets paid. So all this money, all this money that's rolling around between buyers on one side and sellers on the other side, all that in between is a lot of different people that get involved that have an income and that income is going to be going towards expenses like cars, phones, um, rent. Uh, so as you can see, it's a big machine. Real estate is the biggest machine in the economy. It's one of the biggest machines in the economy. Now, our problem is the following. By you guys, by real estate agents, you not contacting sellers to put properties on the market, you can create your own recession. That means you can lose your own job. You are basically losing your own job by not contacting sellers. You are creating a recession by not contacting sellers, by not having the supply required for all these buyers to buy. So you are creating your own death in this business. So this is why I thought it was very, very important that I share this with you and with the entire world. We got to understand that we have to bring back supply. Now, people say, yeah, but Fadi, if you don't bring up supply, just prices will go up. Yes, true. But at one point, there's not enough buyers because if buyers cannot buy a new property, they're going to have to figure out the way to live within their property that they're living in right now either rental or, or a smaller property or too big of a property, whatever it is, because they cannot find another property to buy. So we are creating our own recession by agents from this company or any other company, not contacting every single potential seller, you are creating your own recession. You are creating the end of your career. It's as simple as that. By not contacting sellers, by not getting those listings, which is the inventory, we're choking the market. The market is getting choked. And when the market gets choked, buyers don't buy. And then what happens to prices? Price start falling. And there's not enough sellers. So there's not enough buyers. And it's a spiral and it's a bad spiral. It could be a very, 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 very bad spiral. So it's very important that you guys understand that you are key to a big part of this economy. You are key. Your job is key to, for this economy. If you don't contact enough sellers to bring back the supply to the required demand, then all of this is lost. Buyers cannot buy. And all this in between is gone which means less money in the economy, which means less buyers, which means less phones, which means less cars, and so on and so forth, and that spiral is going down. So you have to understand that it's very important. As a, If you're a seller, put your property on the market. There's buyers, there's people waiting to buy your property. It's not the end of the world. COVID is not the end of the world. People wanna buy your property. So if you're a seller, Contact us, call us, call Roy Lepage, call, call any of our agents. We're going to sell your property. If you're an agent, please contact every single buyer that you, so, uh, sorry, seller that you know that needs to sell because we need their property on the market and it will be sold and it will be sold maybe even higher than what they expected. Okay. So I wanted to touch base on that with you. So I'm clear and I make you understand that. You are creating your own recession by not calling these people. You are losing your own job by not calling these people. Because if the economy collapses because of lack of supply, which we've never seen, by the way, guys, you have to understand, no recession has ever been this way since you and I have been alive. None. None. This is people for pre-World War II. Maybe my dad when he was a baby. Okay. And my dad is 82 years old. So even my dad hasn't seen it because when he grew up, it was already after World War II. 
So we have to understand we're creating a problem that doesn't need to happen. It's a problem that is humanly made. It has nothing to do with the economy. Okay? Mm -hmm. 